Front indicators are fitted. One there, one there. But they're not wired up because the wires are there. They won't work very well. So I've still got to do all that. Uh, still got to route all the wires and everything. Um, that's definitely how I'm having the switch uh, panel thing. I've also got to port, I've got to 3D print something that I'm going to bolt on here which is going to be a telltale uh, thing. Number one for the indicators, number two for the headlights have got to have a telltale, you've got to have one for the main beam. So I'm just going to have a, a, a box of some kind there I think. Um, and also a speedo. Now the speedo itself, number one, it's got to be fitted. Number two, it doesn't have to work, believe it or not, because that's not part of the test. But number three, it has to say the kilometres an hour or miles per hour. It's up to you. It doesn't matter. Because if it doesn't work, it doesn't matter at all. If you get a speedo with nothing on it whatsoever, or it says miles an hour and you want kilometres an hour, all you do is you write it on there with indelible marker. That's satisfactory, apparently. So, uh, what else? Anything with white... Um, cable ties, it's just temporary because I've got a shitload of them. Uh, obviously, the brake um, hose has got to be routed, all this wiring's got to be done. There's quite a lot of wiring. Uh, I've still got to sort the mounting out, although I've done the back piece as you can see. That all it is is just like a it's like a step that goes around the frame and then the battery sits on a piece of it and there's a piece on the back that just stops it from moving backwards at all it won't go anywhere I'm just reprinting the front one because it didn't work out very well as usual rear mug guard I've just placed it on there because I need to figure out how the hell I'm going to do it and also how the hell I'm going to mount a number plate on this thing because there's just no room that's going to be challenging now to get the battery off if you look at that you can see that the seat is actually over the battery all I do undo the clip turn the saddle to one side plenty of clearance so that's all I need to do. Just have to remember to clamp it back up when I get back home because otherwise I'll be riding the bike side saddle, won't I? So it's coming together. It is slow because uh, there's there's loads of things that I have to design. Oh, incidentally, I've moved the battery further forward, so that's fine. Another part of the MSVA is to make sure that nothing fouls the steering when it's on full lock either side. Now, with the battery the way it is, you can see that that actually foul, fouls on there. So, I'm being cunning. <laughs> the front battery mounting, or the front battery um, support I suppose, sits here and it goes underneath the battery and there's going to be a step so as it can't go any further forward you know what I mean like that so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to print it so as it comes out to here so as the steering will only go to about there and there's plenty of clearance it's a cunning plan and it'll work so it's getting there slowly I'm just waiting for the front piece the front support to print then I can put that on then I can cut the um, the down pieces to length. I've decided with this piece here, I'm going to have a tool holder of some kind, sorts. And this piece here, I'm going to mount Velcro on it. Now the Velcro that I use is industrial grade 3M Velcro. It's not the usual sort of hook and loop stuff, it's just hook. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. It's bloody strong. So I'm going to print 3D print some stuff that comes up to here, and then it goes up to the up to the front there, and it'll fill that hole, in theory anyway. So the battery will just slot down over the the, the, the behind it. Um, and I'm going to have compartments in there to put things like a tool, a, a tool. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to put a tool in it. 
<laughs> I'm going to put tools in it. I'm going to put a puncture repair kit, pump, and everything else that I need. Or oh, what have I got? I've got a CO2 pump, so I can put it in there. I've got these two tail lights. I originally bought this one, which is humongous, and I can't use it. It's just way, way, way too big. Although it does conform, it is actually E marked, which you, I don't know if you can see it. It is actually E marked in the glass. It probably doesn't conform, but it's E marked. Apparently that's all they're bothered about. As long as they see an E mark on, 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 on items, then they're not really bothered. And then I saw this one, which is much smaller, much better. Um, and it was listed as E marked. So I bought it, and it was only six six pound fifty i think well if you look on the well you can't see it there's nothing there's no e mark on it whatsoever so i sent a message to him it was on ebay uk as well and i sent a message to him saying it's not as described blah 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 there's no e mark on it and they said what if we give you two pound fifty refund and you can dispose of it what cost me £6.50 and they wanted to give me £2.50 refund so I can throw it in the bloody bin. So I said no and they give me a full refund and then they said throw it in the bin anyway. Got that. I've got a horn. I've got two horns actually. These are around, I think they were four quid each. This is the one I'm going to be using because it's just a standard traditional horn. Um, I don't know why I bought this. I think I was turning gay at the time. These are my. These are the indicators. Uh, these came from a UK supplier as well, although they're actually made in China. And if I can open them, yeah. you can see on there it's got an E. I don't know what it is. Can you see it? So they're E marked, that's all I'm concerned about. They're probably not not right, but they're E marked. That's all they're concerned about. You've seen a letter E on them, believe it or not. Apparently, anyway. So there's that, I've got that. Here's my headlight, which is a seven inch headlight. It's all I could get. No, it's not. It's the only one I could find that is actually E marked, which is, you can see it on the top there. Oh, look at that. Anyway, it's a glass. It is glass. This is a four, it cost me 70 quid, believe it or not, just for the bloody headlight. It's got a halo effect around it. It's got a low beam, low beam main beam and everything. The only trouble is there's no mounting for it. And, Apparently the mounting is the same price as the headlight, which is 70 quid. So what I've done, I've been very cunning, which hasn't turned up yet. I've bought a cheap ass, crappy 7 inch um, headlight for about a fiver. Uh, so hopefully the surround will actually fit. It looks like it'll fit anyway. While I think about it, this is a box of shit basically. So that don't fit around there. This is a box of shit because it's it was a headlight that I bought and they said it got low beam, main beam and everything else and I bought this about three months ago and I never bothered with it. The way that they describe these things, I mean I don't know, I don't even know if there was a, an E marking on it, I don't think there was an E marking, I just bought it for a headlight, I never intended to do anything with it. No, it just says top. Oh, God. So, anyway. Um, what this is, when you turn it on, the main beam, as they call it, is just uh, the LEDs get brighter. There's no... <laughs> there's no <laughs> there is no dip and main beam. It's just brightness. That's all it is. So I never bothered with it, but unfortunately this is, I think it's a 5 inch, is it 5? <laughs> Tape measure, 6, 
So this is only six, which is not quite big enough for that, so it's a bit unfortunate. What a bag of shit that is. Total waste of money. I've also got in here 12 volt 10 amp. Um, but that only, that's only 72 volts, I think. The other one I've got is 108 volts. But that is a 10 amp. The other one's a 20 amp. I've also got some strobe lights, which are... Oh, there they are. I was looking for these. These are red... Well, they are. They're red strobe lights. All you do is you bang 12 volts into them and they, and they strobe. And they were ridiculously cheap, they were. So that's the state of play. I'm going to chuck that. Bag of shit. Oh. I know I bought one of them. <laughs> I wonder where that was. I might use that. I'm mocking everything up. I'm mocking everything up. One thing I've learnt is never cut wires to length because you're always going to move them. So always, you see I've got all this bloody six gauge wire. I'm not going to cut it because the wires, I don't know where they're going to come out yet. Now the one thing that I've got to do with this is I'm going to have to route all the wires then I'm going to have to take them all off, then I've got to wrap them in whatever, don't know yet, and then I've got to attach them all again. So all this, I might need it, you never know, well, no I'm not, but, ha, the first bit of wiring is done. So I've got to get all those wires, and I've got to feed them all through somewhere, and I've got to route them all. And then I'm gonna get out of get it out of. And then I've got to connect them. Oh yeah, the brake cable. The brake cable, the hydraulic hose brake thing goes underneath the subvertor. That thing ain't gonna get hot. I'm not, I'm not gonna be pulling. I think an I, I th <laughs> bollocks and shitting. I'm not gonna be pulling that many amps uh, continuous. I think it's probably only about an average of a, probably about fifty maybe 60 amps so it's not even going to stress that bloody thing and it's not going to get warm I hope anyway <laughs> it better not do oh front mug guards on so <laughs> it's a bit random wasn't it uh, as I've already mentioned uh, this is the, the indicator horn and headlight main beam whatever switch thing now before anybody thinks it and say why didn't you try this, why haven't you tried full blown motorbike things, you haven't tried this, you haven't tried that, I have, I think I've tried a few, there you go, and not one of them fits, these were the, these are the expensive ones that I bought, um, I don't know if I can actually show you, uh, is that that side here? Yeah, that's that side. Let's try and show you. If I had that on there, uh, which is going to be, yeah, it's going to be this side. If I had that on there, the brake lever won't pull, so I can't use that. I can't put it that side of the brake lever because it won't fit on this bit here so I can't use that I can't use any of them all for that same reason is they don't fit in certain circumstances that one don't that one I can't remember what was wrong with that one there was something wrong with it <laughs> I don't know uh, I might revisit them I might have a look again, I don't know. I'm a bit annoyed because obviously I've got a lot of them to use and I've never 
never used any of them. I'm going to use another one of these for the um, hazard warning lights, I think. Over three position hazard self destruct. Yeah. <laughs>